Hello there, welcome back to Beyond the Brew. My name is Donovan, today is a great day. We got a new keg here, but first, I'm gonna show you guys how to clean out some beer lines in your kegerator so the beer tastes even better. Let's get into it. So for your keg reader cleaning kit, it's really simple. You can just buy them online or at a local homebrew store, something like that. Um, I went to somewhere in Calgary called Beer Works. I got this package, so it's got like this plastic jar with a pump, got my scrub brush, got my faucet, uh, faucet wrench, I think it's called, my little rubber O-ring that we're gonna need and a couple little extra things. Um, I think all in all, this whole thing was about 90 bucks. You can buy them online between 70, 150 bucks online. I do have a link in the description for the one that's pretty much identical to this on Amazon, so if you want to go ahead and purchase that, I would get a small commission out of it, so thank you guys so much for uh, helping out Beyond the Brew. You are going to need a solution as well. So this was, oh, $10, perfect. So my whole thing cost me $100 Canadian to get going. So a bowl, a spoon, a faucet wrench, a little cleaner here, your solution, and this guy right here is pretty much all you need aside from something to boil water with. If you have a pot or a kettle, that's great. All right, so before I disassemble the keg, I'm just gonna get the water going in the background. I know it doesn't take long, but still. I'm gonna take our little plastic jar here. I know that it's a one liter, it's 32 fluid ounces, so I'm just gonna pretty much take the top off, put it to the side, fill it up with some water. Pop the lid open, pour our water in here. Good to go. Close the lid. So while that's boiling, we're basically just gonna go and get the kegerator disassembled. There she is. Tear you apart. So I'm gonna start up top. I'm pretty much just gonna take the tap handle off first, that out of the way. Then we're gonna grab our little faucet wrench here. We're just gonna pretty much, you just see these little areas here. We're just gonna take that, spin her off. Now this can be like pretty hard, so you're just gonna have to like, <clears throat> like just give it a little reef here, hold on to the spout and just push. All right, now you got the spout off. Okay, now we're going down. So basically this is the part where you grab your bowl and we're gonna disconnect a few things down here. If you already got a keg in here, you're gonna have to take the keg coupler off of that, turn the CO2 off and take the keg out. Now, for me, I always turn off the CO2 every time I run out of keg beer because there's just no point in having it on. You're just gonna waste CO2 and you don't wanna do that. So make sure that the CO2 valve shut off. Um, we're gonna release any pressure. We're gonna disconnect this guy. So this is your keg coupler. This yellow thing here is the beer line. That's what we're gonna take off the keg coupler. Now it's important to have this bowl here because you might get a little bit of spillage. So we'll just crank this. There we go. Upside down, pour that in there. So if your keg coupler is just like, you know, really in bad shape, if it's just got like a lot of buildup on it, I'd grab a wrench and take this little CO2 line coming off of it and pretty much just put that in the bowl as well because once all of the solution comes through, we can just kind of scrub everything up, make it look nice and tidy. I personally don't need to do that, but I am gonna set it in the bowl because you might get a little bit of beer coming out of there as well. We're also gonna take the spout that we took off, put that in the bowl as well. Now, the water's boiling, so let's go back to the kitchen. So we got our boiling water and we got our little pump jar. We're gonna take that, we're gonna pour it in here. Careful, it is hot. Oh no, I spilled some. Pretty smooth clean. This gets really hot, so if you have oven mitts, that might not be a bad idea. Take our little solution here. There we go. Calls for one tablespoon in this little mix. Just throw her in like that. Give it a nice little stir. And we got this lovely blue solution that's gonna make your beer lines nice and fresh. Oh, spoon's hot too. So now we're gonna take our little pump Throw it back on the plastic jar we got. 
So we can pretty much go and hook this up to where the spout goes on the cake. It's really important that grab this little rubber O-ring that comes with your kegerator or the cleaning kit. Because, because we're just gonna wanna throw that right in here. So when it goes on, we don't get any leaks. Then we tighten this, we'll use the faucet wrench to get this real tight. So now we're pretty much ready to start pumping. But before we do that, we're just gonna wanna do one little check. You really wanna make sure that as soon as you start pumping that water, that it's gonna end up in the bowl. Otherwise, you're gonna get a little bit of a mess going on. So that's gonna go through here. It's gonna follow the yellow line right into that bowl. Perfect. Let's start pumping. Nice and hot water down there. Perfect. Did a little flush. This is the part where we're gonna grab our little scrubber and get to work. So this is pretty much the point where I'm just gonna wanna scrub anything that really has direct contact with the beer. So like you see these, all these threads here, they can get a little gunked up. So I'm just gonna give those a good cleaning. Get that back. And take the keg coupler and pretty much just give a good little scrub right around the edges here where the where the coupler connects to the new fresh keg. Get in here, just give everything a nice little scrub. Especially the threads, you gotta, you gotta make sure the threads are nice and clean. Can't forget about our spout. Oh yeah. You gotta clean out the spout. Perfect. I'm sure that this blue solution is pretty sanitary, but either way, I'm still just gonna use some warm water, kind of semi-hot water, just right from the tap, fill this bad boy up, and give it one more quick flush. Something I like to do. Give everything just a quick little dry so I can put it back in this little kegerator. You gotta shake out the keg coupler pretty good. Oh yeah, look at all that stuff coming off of it. All right, I'm gonna go dump this bowl out. Now, I've never had a 50 liter keg before, so I actually definitely gotta make sure I put all this stuff off up to the side. Reconnect this guy here. Make sure everything is super nice and tight. Take this guy off. Put the spout back on. Now it's time to put the keg in. Um, I have personally never had a 50 liter keg before. This thing weighs 130 pounds. So, gotta watch our toes on this one. Nice. Locked in there. Boom, there you go. Keg's good. Before I put this keg back in, I'm gonna make sure I turn the CO2 on. So we're just gonna crank this baby. Get it turned on there, PSI. Kind of have it tapped into around 10. A little bit there. Yeah, this kegerator, eight to 10 PSI, just seems to be like the most dialed in uh, pressure setting. Flows out at a pretty good rate. Not too much head, but a good amount of head, and uh, that's what works for me. Watch your feet. Oh God, this is so heavy. Most even close. Hey! All right, so that's pretty much the whole process from start to finish. You just kind of put everything back together, put the tap handle on, the spout on, and you're good to go. Should take you between 10, 15 minutes, unless you decide to film a YouTube video, then it might take you closer to three or four hours. So let's see how the beer came out. Let me grab a glass. Uh, for me, I kind of like to pour the first one into a pitcher. Sometimes you'll get a little more head. In terms of, um, you know, how long you should wait after you've clean out your keg lines. I usually wait about five minutes. Nothing bad's ever happened to me. So let's give her a pour. Woo. Uh, there you go, folks. That's how you do it like a pro. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please uh, consider subscribing if you liked the video. Got a lot more beer related content, some more travel stuff coming up soon. So uh, 
hit subscribe and see you guys in the next video. And happy holidays, because it's like the end of the year. So cheers, guys.